Hello there, it's Marin. I'm doing a new review of the Clinique Skin Perfecting Foundations. So I got here and I bought it at Stefan actually. Bundy got it for me. She's a she's a dream. It's called Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundations. I heard good reviews on this since Candy Johnson's mentioned it a couple of times. So I'm thinking that I'd be doing this for you guys because I feel like I haven't been talking makeup for quite some time now. So we're gonna have, you know, like a bit of lifestyles and makeup here and there because, you know, I enjoy making that type of video. So I'm gonna be applying this foundation. Uh, I forgot to mention the shade. The shade is in number 66, True, Bra True, True Beige. And it's the darkest color that available um, in the counter where I bought. Right now I just shower, my hair is wet, so my face feels a little bit drying. So I'm gonna prep my skin first. Usually I put this on before anything else. Soothing care, uh, Physio Gel AA Cream. Love this so much. I it's probably like I use this day and night because I feel like it really does wonder for my skin. I have to look that way because I placed a mirror right there by the way I filmed this in the new setting do you guys like it it's kind of a bit outdoorsy and because my room my AC in my room is not working and it's really boiling in there so we have to move a little bit in order to get things done so here we have we I feel a little bit moisturized I'm gonna put this on my neck as well Okay, the next thing SPF product here is Biore UV Aqua Rich. I know that you wouldn't supposed to be putting a lot of the base, and this is gonna be how I truly use the product. Next, Becca Skin Primer. I don't have a name for this, but it's called Backlight Priming Filter by Becca. It's expensive, but it's good. I just use it one pump, put it on my hand, and just distribute this evenly on my skin. I love this stuff so much. I watch Rachel White, Whitehurst. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Um, she did a glowing makeup routine. I'm gonna place the link below so you guys see her tutorial on that one. I saw her use this type of product and, it, and I got it right away after I watched that video. This kind of like plumped the skin a little bit because when you have dry skin, you tend to have sort of dehydrated looking skin. And I sometimes I feel like a drying fruit. So I have to use product to just kind of plump it up. And I used um, the Beauty Blender and I just, you know, I have a towel here and I just squeeze it. I would love this sort of like damp uh, applicator Beauty Blender thing that I will be putting on my face. Okay, let's start. Um, we don't really have a claim in here, say a foundation and concealer in one for a natural, beyond perfected looks that lasts all day, lightweight, moisturizing makeup cover throughout, thoroughly without clogging pores. And we're gonna see if this really does wonder, as it said, on my face. Let's talk about the, the look of the foundations first. And the applicator of the foundation kind of reminds me of lip gloss a little bit, but it looks like, ugh, looks like this. Face, oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna place it on my face now. It's my color, right? That is my color, I think. Usually, don't use much on the forehead. I don't know how to apply this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna place it randomly. I'm gonna do the face first. Oh, beauty blender, come blend away. Wow. It does feel very easy to apply. Oh, I like it. I'm not sure if that's too soon to say it out loud. Did exactly my skin color. Wow. I'm quite impressed on the matching of the skin. By the way, if you went to the counter in the department store and trying to get this product, you might try. You, you might want to try it on your face because the BA kept urging me to get the 65, which I feel like too light for my skin. So I put it on my face 
and see for myself and I was right. So I got myself a number 66. I don't really like, you know, a full one shade lighter face. Close, so you can see. I feel like it's neat a little bit. I do feel like it might be buildable. I'm not sure. Let's try this a bit more. It's perfect. I like it a lot. It feels very light on my skin. That's why I'd be applying all the time. It's weird. It's weird for me because I'm I'm not familiar with with foundation that looks like a skin. Wow. It looks like skin, right? It looks like I have I woke up like this. Except no eyebrow. Yeah. No anywhere else. Alright, I'm gonna continue with the rest of the makeup and I'm gonna set the makeup so I'm thinking you guys gonna see me after that. This is the look of it from up close. And I didn't conceal this part, it's the dry patches and I already have. I feel like if I put on a bit more, it would actually get rid of this, but I don't want to. I just wanna see if you applied it like one coat, how much of a coverage you will get from the foundation. And I feel like it's actually very nice and with a good primer, I might add. I'm back with the full face makeup. Um, I'm going a little bit light on the lip today because I just want you to actually see uh, the finish of the foundations that it left on my face. I only apply one coat of the foundations on my face and I feel like even though I feel like with a little it can go a long way but this one is definitely very buildable coverage for the foundations. It really light. It feels very light for a full coverage foundations and with the beauty blender like I said I feel like it even it give even more of a natural finish to the skin. I can feel like this is a foundation that you could easily aim toward looking natural on the skin but still looks like pulled together in a way. So I'm really I will probably give this 4 out of 5 star for how good it is but I'm not sure if it's compared to my favorite one Estee Lauder so we'll see alright guys so that's it for today um, see you in my next video bye hold to sometimes like this I watch Netflix all the time you guys it's almost like anti-social levels of you know not want to be outside <laughs> um, yesterday I was in Starbucks and I was watching Outlander on my phone and I was holding it like this and Jamie Fraser the hot redhead and um, the and Claire were having a thing in the movie and everyone when they walk past me they just keep looking at me and I get really self-conscious like did they know I'm watching a love scene in the coffee shop right now 